Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. All right. Last night was AEW's Winter is Coming. They treated it as a pay-per-view and it felt like one with all the atmosphere and everything surrounding it. The main event on the card was John Moxley defending his AEW world title against Kenny Omega. So here's the thing about this, right? John Moxley in the year of 2020 is 21 and 0. The question is how are you going to beat somebody who's faced pretty much everybody there is to face in AEW? And how are you going to beat him? Like, he's had tough competition. Well, he, he didn't have a little competition. He had tough competition. Like, he beat Chris Jericho for the title. Then he had challengers like Eddie Kingston, um, Brody Lee, Jake Hager, Lance Archer, Darby Allen. Those are five good names already. I think he probably had more. Are they, wait, were these his five people he said? I thought he defended the title against somebody else. Oh, MJF. That's six good challenges. Right there. Six. 21 and 0. Some of them he didn't even pin. He had to pass them out, like Brody Lee. He made Brody Lee pass out. He never pinned him. So he found a way to beat Brody. And Brody looked like a man that you couldn't beat. So, question is, you know, how was, how was Kenny Omega going to beat John Moxley? Because it had... I already knew off the bat that it was going to be some type some some type of ending. It wasn't going to be a regular... It wasn't going to be clean. No. In order to beat John Moxley, he had to do something. And do something Kenny did. But I'm going to get into it. So, the match pretty much was uh, hard-hitting. It definitely wasn't going to be the same match you saw <laughs> last year. It, was, it wasn't going to be that. It, was, it wasn't going to be Full Metal Mayhem. Was it, was it called Full Metal? It was called Full Metal Mayhem? It was, right? It was called that? It wasn't going to be like that. That match was crazy. <laughs> it wasn't going to be that. It can't be a replay of that. But something was going to happen. But either way, it was hard hitting. Everybody, both of them were swinging. Kenny hit him with knees, with kicks and shots. Moxley, you know, swinging at anything that moves. Both styles are different, but they clash perfectly. And it created one hell of a match. Now, Keep in mind, keep in mind, Dan Callis, the executive, what's this, the executive director of Impact Wrestling, or the vice president, he's involved in Impact Wrestling. He was here on commentary, and he told, him, he told us before the match started, he said, I've known Kenny Omega for 27 years, he asked me to be here. So I didn't really think he would be involved, but I kept in mind, but I... I looked at him. I, I made sure I kept him in my mind. So, as time went on, as I said, it was getting crazy. Then they go to the outside. Moxley gets Omega. Boom, paradigm shift on the outside. Um, it like he hit the, uh, I think that was like a speaker or something he hit. Or maybe he hit the, uh, the ground. Or maybe he hit the mat. But either way, Kenny Omega looked like he was knocked out. Like he, like he couldn't continue. And then Moxley gets in the ring. And here comes Dan. Off announcer's table. Just running up. Because I guess he's because he looks concerned for Kenny Omega. And again, Mega like Mega Omega like he ain't moving. So he went to check on him. He's like, are you okay? Everything all right? You know, let's calm the match. Figure out what's going on. So Dan then gets on the apron. Or the other side of the apron. And he's and he's talking to Mox. He's like. He's trying to tell Mox, Mox, um, Omega's not right. John just turns around, boom, just pushes him. <laughs> just pushes him. Boom, pushes him down. 
Now, Dan has a mic in his hand. I guess he picked up the mic or whatever. And he just put... I, I Maybe he's going to hit him with it. Can't really remember off the top of my head right now, but he's like he's going to hit him with it. But Moxley just pushed him. So then Omega is in the ring, still dizzy. I'm, all of a sudden, Kenny got the mic. Mind you, the mic that Dan had. He has the mic. Moxley picks him up. The ref is ref has his back turned. He's checking on Dan. Has his back turned. Boom! Kenny Omega hits him with the mic. With John, his John the mic. And you can tell me, and I can tell you right now, that mic. He must have hit him with everything he had with that mic because ever since he got hit with that, Moxley has not recovered. Not once. He got hit, dizzy on the ropes. Diz, like, he can't. He's busted open. He's cracked. He's not bleeding profusely, but he's open, busted open. Dazed, confused. He don't know what's going on. He, he's not here right now. He's not here right now. The King Omega takes advantage. Boom, one V trigger. Moxley's still dazed. He's still on rope. He's still on rope. Boom! Another one. Once again, still, still can't figure it out. Boom! A third one. Now Moxley's on the ropes. He's out. He, he's out. He's out at this point. He, he's just he's just moving. Um, Kenny picks him up. One wing and angel. Boom! One, two, three. Kenny Omega is the new AEW champion. And Dan, who was invited by Kenny, is he and um he and Kenny are running to are running out of the arena. So this was Kenny's plan all along. He asked Dan for his help to be able to take the title off him. Now, we don't know specifically what happened. And we don't know specifically the... Well, we know the relationship, obviously. But we don't know why Dan agreed to this. We don't know nothing. But we're going to find out next week. So we got a lot going down next week. But Kenny Omega did it. He did, he did the one thing nobody could do all year. Beat John Moxley. But he didn't beat him clean. Did, I mean, it was a clean pin, but it wasn't a clean finish. We'll say that. So then as Moxley awakes, he either looks like he still know where he's at, or he looks confused or defeated. I don't know what he's, but he just, he's just, he's just not there. But I can tell you, next week, oh, oh, it's going to be, oh, oh, man. <laughs> We seen we seen how Moxley is when he's mad. We gon' mm, it ain't gonna be pretty next week. I can promise you that it ain't gon' it ain't gonna be pretty. But I'm here for all of it. <laughs> but yeah, Kenny Omega is the new champion. I find it also ironic too that um, John Moxley entered this match 21 and 0, and now he's 21 and 1. Kenny Omega has been undefeated as a singles competitor himself this year too. But most of but the reason why that's not really as significant as John Moxley's is because Moxley's been a singles competitor all year. Kenny Omega's been mostly a tag team champion all year. So he just kind of transitioned back to the singles literally a couple months ago. So that's why his is not as significant as Moxley's was. Moxley was a singles competitor his whole the whole year. But I, I just find it funny how Moxley was 21 and 0. Mind you, The Undertaker was 21 and 0 before he broke his before the streak was broken. And the Taker became 21 1. Moxley's now 21 and 1 for the year. I just find that to be so ironic. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks that, but I just find it to be so ironic. That's so crazy. But yeah, we're gonna see what we're gonna see what happens next week. We got a lot going down next week. A lot to talk about. Will I be here? Eh. Probably, maybe. I'll see how it is. But you will see me either tomorrow or Saturday. Because War Games is this Sunday. And I didn't know it was even this Sunday until I had to, <laughs> until they told me on Raw. Oh, War Games is this Sunday. I'm like, oh, damn, I got to make, <laughs> make predictions. 
and I gotta watch it on Sunday. So I'll be there. I'm gonna watch more games. You'll see me. But you know this. So until then, it's been Rose today, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. As always, if you ain't if you ain't subscribed and you ain't doing nothing right, trust and believe we are four away from 500. Let's get to 500. Let's get to half a thou. I'm trying to get to a thousand. We trying our best. Trying to produce as much as possible, but you know what we do, man. So until next time, peace, love, one. You're it.